Hi everyone, we've not done anything African in a while, so today I want to show you an amazing cichlid that lives in a really small area in Tanzania. This cichlid only occurs in the headwaters of this tiny spring known as Kemka Spring. There are only a few fish up here in the headwater. A catfish species, Clarius gariapinus, Gara dembeensis, or something similar to it, and this beautiful blue cichlid, which got a name only in 2022, Stenochromus scatebra. There is also a sister species downstream in Lake Jipe, and for the moment, these are the only two species remaining in Stenochromus, although it looks like there will be a third one from the north side of Kilimanjaro in the Tsavo River Basin. Kemka Spring lies south of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. There is a small spring, not much bigger than a tennis court, and not more than 3 meters or 10 feet deep. Water comes from the ground with high velocity. It is actually difficult to swim against it. It then forms the pool, drained by a small river, the Kikuletwa, that eventually ends up in the Nvumbu Mungu Reservoir. There is little information on haplochromian cichlids in nature on the internet, so I wanted to share this video, with special thanks to Hans van Hoisten who told me about this beautiful place. We also made a video about Lake Chala, a lake on the Tanzanian-Kenyan border, a little bit northeast of here. The name Stenochromus scatebra also refers to the spring. What is amazing in this habitat is the incredibly clear water, with excellent visibility. Local people swim here on occasion, and one side of the spring has good access along the root balls of the trees that shadow the pool. The water gets deep quickly, and there are some large boulders covered with a thin layer of algae and bacteria, which the fish are feeding on. Both juvenile cichlids and the gara like rasping algae off the higher areas of the boulders. Female stenochromis are grey-brown with a series of vertical bars. Subdominant males are often uniformly grey, with a single or two faded large egg spots on their anal fin. Dominant males, on the other hand, have very beautiful coloration that reminds me very much of some of Talmotilapia from Lake Tanganyika. Their body is sky blue, with the head, chest and abdomen and anal fin dark blue. The anal fin features two or one large, clearly defined egg spots. The base of the pectoral fin is dark red, and part of the caudal can also be slightly red. Breeding males excavate very large pits along the edges of boulders. The nests are not circular like many haplochromians, but rather an arch along the edge of a boulder with a small cave dug out at the base. The craters are unusually large for such a small fish, and the courting males defend surprisingly big territories, courting dozens of females swimming in their territory or higher up in the water column. Removing a rock from their territory often brings more fish to the camera. This also demonstrates how strong the current is in this habitat. The water is all coming from holes in the surrounding bedrock. The change in the habitat brings some of the subdominant males to the area, and the dominant male now has to chase them off his turf. Females and juveniles also visit in search for food in the substrate. Interestingly, the females that had eggs or young in their mouth all stayed together in tightly clustered groups of 20 to 30 animals, higher up along the shore between the large boulders. The area where these cichlids are most common only has occasional sunlight coming from the canopy. The dominant males stay below on the substrate. Water here is unique. It is alkaline, hard and reasonably warm at 28 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Several people have tried to keep this fish in the aquarium without much success. This habitat is so unique and likely has nitrate levels that cannot be achieved in an aquarium. After obtaining a permit, the handful of stenochromis I had brought back in 2016 grew very slowly and did develop the blue coloration, but never thrived in the aquarium and did not breed successfully. Some cichlids remain a true challenge for experienced hobbyists, including fish like Xenotilapia papilio, Trematocara, and some of the Tulochromis. Hopefully this not well-protected habitat remains intact and the population of Stenochromis continues to thrive in the future. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and share this video and see you next time.